Danny Mitchell, 57 kilos, currently third, took third in the US Open. So mini tournament coming up next week, Madison. First off, two kilos, what has that done for you weight-wise and not having to cut all that much more? Uh, well, it was, it was kind of a good and bad thing because I guess, well, not good and bad, but uh, when I found out, I definitely tried to get a better lifting program in, so uh, that's that's helped me too, but I also put on a little weight there too, so it's, you know, it definitely helped, but at the same time, I got a little bigger, so it kind of evens it out, I guess. But it's it's good. I, I like the weight class, and I feel like I, I fit, fit really well there. Third in the open, you know, people, nobody really knows you're not, you know, with a big club, you're not with Sunkish, you're not with Titan Mercury, you don't train out of the OTC, you train out of Cleveland State. When you look at that decision, you can still win at Cleveland State. What's that training situation like for you there? Uh, tra training's great. Uh, I couldn't, you know, I got a great, great coach. Uh, Sir has been helping me out a lot, and uh, you know, tough, tough guys to work out with from from the club, and um, it's, it's been going well. I can't complain. Like I said, I, you know, I, I've finished third at, at the Open, and I feel like I, you know. I'm where I need to be, and I have the right people in my corner. And obviously, my high school coach Manel helps out a lot, and um, Eric Burnett. And so, yeah, it's it's good. It's good. It's a good situation. Leaving Army to come over here was it the right choice for you? You know, you took third. What do you got to do to get on the, the world team? And what's it, what was it like the transition from Army to go to Cleveland State? Uh, it, it was definitely it was definitely tough. Um, you know, I had you know made a lot of a lot of good friends there, and, and established a lot of relationships, and. Uh, and you know it's it's, uh, it's not always it's not easy. Um, so it was tough. It, you know left left a lot of good memories behind. But you know I, I definitely think it was it was the right decision. I, I definitely wanted to focus more a little more on wrestling and and it, it was just tough for me personally. It, it was kind of tough and uh, just you know coaching and doing both. And but it, you know like I said it, it was hard. But I felt like it was the right move. And and now I just gotta. Just make the best of it. How much do you work with the actual Cleveland State guys, or are you on your own training with your own, just with your brother? Who do you train with, and do you work with Cleveland State actual athletes? Um, we're well, we're at the uh, from from the club. Yes, I'm not on staff. I'm just kind of a club coach. We got a club going now, um, so we're, it, it's going pretty well, you know. Um, so yeah, I get get to train with you know at the club, at the club, and with, with guys like uh, Ben Williford, who's to just finished seventh. Or I'm sorry, eighth year today. So uh, he's been a great, great partner for me, and and a couple other guys at the, at the at the on the team, you know, really been pushing me. So it's it's been good. What do you got to do to win the mini tournament and be where you need to be? Wrestle in that final. Was it Hayes Winkle? Is the guy who's waiting, right? Yeah, yeah. Hayes Winkle's the guy who's waiting. What do you got to do to get to that mini tournament? Um, I just gotta go out and wrestle. I think you know. I believe I believe I can you know beat anyone. So that's that's I think that's the most important thing. Um, you know, sometimes you have good and bad days, but you know, just not you know not letting you know my emotions or you know winning or losing affect me out there. Just go out, have fun, just because it's you know it's a blessing. I get to do this stuff. So you've beaten pretty much everyone on the ladder. You've gone back and forth with pretty much out of everyone. Only guy I think you've never beaten is like Felix, but you've beaten Obi. You've beaten Simmons. You've beaten pretty much everybody but Felix. I, I don't think I, I didn't beat Simmons. But. You beat Simmons at, uh, in Cleveland. You didn't beat him. No. But you've gone back and forth with a lot of these guys. You beat yeah. Stever. You've beaten a lot of these guys. Stever's obviously way out of the picture now. But looking at being, you know, that close to it, what do you got to do if you get to that best two out of three? What, 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 what do you scout for Sam Hayeswinkle, or do you just worry about the other guys? Um, I, I, I definitely. You know, I think it's it's good to kind of watch and scout a little bit, but uh, you know, just take it one match at a time because you never know what's going to happen. So um, just take you know, wrestle, wrestle who's who's out front and wrestle my hardest, and you know, just keep doing what I'm doing. Like I said, I think it's I made the right decision and, and it's, it's it's working right now. So don't don't really change anything. Did you get anything else from me? Nope, not not really. You got anything else for me? No. I'll see you in Madison next right. week. Good luck. Sounds good. Thanks.